come home, Julia. Hey, Rev. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We are on page 63 of your prayer book. Page 63, evening prayer, right one. We'll do my best to speak up because apparently this microphone is not quite cutting it. Time to get yet another microphone. Page 63. <clears throat> oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And on page 64, the Fos Hilaron, please join me. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Hey, Kathy. Our Psalms for this evening are 47 and 48, and those begin on page 650. Page 650, if you'll join me there, we'll read those together. Beginning on page 650, Psalms 47 and 48, please read with me. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a cry of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdues the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God and he is highly exalted. And then Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. In the city of our God is his holy hill. Beautiful and lofty, the joy of all the earth is the hill of Zion, the very center of the world and the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He is known to be her sure refuge. Behold, the kings of the earth assembled and marched forward together. They looked and were astounded. They retreated and fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in childbirth. 
like ships of the sea when the east wind shatters them. As we have heard, so have we seen. In the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God has established her forever. We have waited in silence on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, O God, reaches to the world's end. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion be glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Make the circuit of Zion, walk round about her, count the number of her towers, consider well her bulwarks, examine her strongholds, that you may tell those who come after, this God is our God forever and ever. He shall be our guide forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Judith. Good to see you all. This evening, we continue more from the apocryphal books. This is chapter 3 of the Wisdom of Solomon, the first few verses. At Episcopal funeral services, this often gets picked out uh, because of its reassuring quality. So this is Wisdom of Solomon 3, the first few verses. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace, for though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. The word of the Lord. Hey, Reb. <clears throat> All right, our canticle this evening, <clears throat> excuse me, is on page 49. It's canticle number two. Page 49, canticle two, a song of praise. This also is from the Apocrypha. We got a theme going at the beginning of this week. We touched on this the other week at our Wednesday service. This is the... Uh, prayer, the story rather, of what these young men might have said, uh, the fuller story in the book of Daniel, the men thrown into the burning fiery furnace, this is what a later author felt they might have said and wrote this down. So page 49, Canticle 2, please read with me. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou for the name of thy majesty praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the temple of thy holiness, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou that beholdest the depths and dwellest between the cherubim, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the glorious throne of thy kingdom, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou in the firmament of heaven, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed art thou, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praised and exalted above all forever. And then we continue forward on page 66 with the Apostles' Creed. When you get there, please join me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we continue with suffrages A. Please pray with me. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, or the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. O God, whose Son, Jesus, is the good shepherd of thy people, grant that when we hear his voice we may know him, who calleth us each by name, and follow where he doth lead who with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth one God forever and ever. Amen. And here's another prayer written by one of you all. O God, we thank you for the beauty of our earth, for your gift of the word, which is alive and forever, for the Holy Trinity working in our lives each day. We thank you for all the hands on this earth doing your work for each of us every day. We do not give credence to any storms raging around us because you are in full charge of all and your will is constant to the end. Hear our prayer of praise this day. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you'll turn with me to page 832, we'll pray prayer 57 together, prayer for guidance, page 832. Page 832, prayer 57. Please pray with me. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with thy most gracious favor, and further us with thy continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in thee, we may glorify thy holy name, and finally, by thy mercy, obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who dost manifest in thy servants the signs of thy presence, send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, thine abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions silently, aloud, or typed in the chat box. Amen. And then we turn back to page 72 for our final prayer, page 72. The prayer of St. Chrysostom. Please pray with me. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, I talked with Father Bill just a little bit today. He said he's doing better. Uh, he's sleeping a lot, but he's doing uh, better. Medicine is making him do that. Uh, but he is on track to do uh, comparative Christianity tomorrow. So that'll be at 5.30 on Zoom. And then we'll be here for evening prayer at 6.30. And Deacon Sue will be taking care of you with Compline at 8. So a lot of good stuff. Blessings, friends.